Carrey's perspective, I can only imagine what it's like to be Jim Carrey and to entertain people at the level that he does with so much energy. Like, he definitely, along with everybody else, there's times in our lives where we definitely need deep rest, for sure. But my understanding and what I believe about depression, although it can be triggered through psychological means or close interpersonal relationship means, uh, it's really your body telling you that I don't have the nutrients to deal with the things that are going on in my life right now. And your body really needs niacin, like vitamin Bs, B complexes, and vitamin B3, niacin in particular. Uh, I was watching a bunch of movies or a bunch of videos. I've already known a lot about niacin, but I've been watching videos where people are talking about new research and different research in general. And I always like to go back to, this is my first uh, Instagram post because this is probably the number one thing that helped me in my life and probably could help everybody else in their life, in my personal opinion. Niacin. Um, the Real Story is a book about Abram Hoffer, who was a doctor, and he practiced in Saskatchewan and spoke all over the place about the benefits of niacin and the benefits of taking vitamins, and he ended up meeting Bill Bright in New York one time, and Bill Bright was the founder of Alcoholics Anonymous, which, for the most part, I think is the most effective way for helping people that is widespread uh, for helping people with alcoholism. And anyways, so the point is, after Hoffer and Bright became friends, Hoffer suggested he starts taking niacin. And so I believe, according to Bill's own testimony, his own story, as he recalls it, he came out of depression in just one week from taking niacin regularly. And I believe the rest of his life, he pretty much took like three grams of niacin divided throughout his day, um, every single day. And uh, to alleviate depression, like a deep, long-standing depression that Bill Bright had for over 20 years, according to his own biography, I think is where I read that originally, is amazing. Uh, if it's that easy, that all you need to do is take a vitamin, which is a necessary nutrient that your body needs, why not give it a shot? Okay, that's the first, why not? Just give it a shot, right? Um, I've read some, uh, or I watched some other videos where guys were talking about how you should get a time-release B vitamin in order to make sure that you have sustained B vitamins in your system throughout the day. I don't really agree with that because I've seen other studies that suggest it could lead to liver damage. So I would just suggest taking it on a regular basis. B vitamins are water-soluble vitamins. They'll flush out of your system if you have too much of them. Um, but I always take B complexes, 100s, like two or three times a day, along with taking... a like a thousand milligrams of niacin pretty much with each meal and then I take double the amount of vitamin C in order to make sure that it reduces the intensity of the flush it can also slow the histamine response if anybody has certain allergies it should be beneficial to slow the histamine response I believe this book covers that where individuals who had severe uh, peanut allergies could take niacin uh, probably about the same amount, the three milligrams daily, along with, you know, double the amount of vitamin C each time they take it. And that could slow the histamine response in those individuals who are deathly allergic to peanuts, and they could survive a lot longer than had they not. Um, it's possible it may have other effects for other histamine responses and other allergy responses. It's possible. I definitely suggest you guys get this book. Um, and yeah, take your vitamins daily, guys. I can't stress that enough. That's probably the most important thing that we could do to help us deal with our lives. Because I saw a thing recently that claimed that if we're having a very stressful day, we could destroy our intestinal flora that helps us provide our own bodies with B vitamins if we have a healthy biome in the first place. 
that we could destroy that biome in one day due to stress levels. So how important is it to completely replace those B vitamins on a daily basis? And I also saw another one that talked about it may, imp it may reduce the risk of heart attacks in individuals by up to 90% uh, because there's studies that show you can lower bad cholesterol, increase good cholesterol, and um, it's just a great way to eliminate toxins from your body. So, you know, guys, if you're getting your, your health advice from a celebrity, um, you might want to just think twice. Like, if you saw a celebrity endorsing something on TV, you might want to think twice. Just think it over. Like, why would I listen to this guy? You know, if their celebrity status is outside of the realm of health, then, you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. And am I saying listen to me? By no means. I'm definitely not to any celebrity status of any sort, really. But what I would definitely suggest is do your own research. Don't take anybody's word for it. And always follow the money. Like, if there's studies out there, find out who paid for the study. Find out what university the study was conducted at. You know, there's just lots of questions that you need to ask anytime you see a study with some certain results and stuff. But anyways, that was just kind of what I want to talk about, about dealing with depression and how vitamin B3 could be very beneficial for that. So if you're going to go out there and get some B3, then I definitely suggest you research and get some information on the flush and understanding what a flush is, what it feels like, how it happens. I mean, the basics I can cover right now. So you're going to feel really warm, really hot, maybe tingly even from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, and it can last anywhere from a half hour to an hour. And it's just a really good way for a lot of toxins to leave your body. Um, for me personally, with joint issues, I've noticed that the flush feels really good in my joints. And every single time you take niacin after that, it slowly lessens. Like, uh, I, could, I could be flushing and know it internally, but out externally nobody would know whereas when you first start you could turn just red as a cherry and everybody would know you're flushing or somebody would think oh you just got sunburn or something but anyways guys if you or anybody you know is suffering from depression i would just really suggest you share this video with them or you know try and be there for them somehow um other than that, uh, yeah, I wanted to go into this book, talked about how Hoffer completely helped a lot of individuals that had psychiatric disorders, like schizophrenia was one of the major ones, and the common understanding of schizophrenia today is that it's a spectrum disorder, and it's a spectrum from bipolar on one side to schizophrenia and hearing voices on the other side, and... Hoffer said that he could treat individuals and most of them would get better. Almost 90, 95% of them would get better with just a simple vitamin therapy with using niacin, vitamin C, and maybe a couple other vitamins, but mainly just niacin. Um, he said that it is clinically identical um, to pellagra. And pellagra was a past disease that ravaged the South in the United States and led to America fortifying breads and foods with vitamins and that was at levels to just prevent pellagra but the idea that Hoffer puts forth in this book is that pellagra is people who are B3 deficient whereas bipolar schizophrenia are people who are B3 niacin dependent and they need to consume on a daily basis, on a regular basis, because their bodies can't synthesize it as well as pretty much everybody else. Um, so I just highly suggest everybody try niacin. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you know anybody out there that struggles with mental health issues, psychiatric issues, I definitely suggest that you try and get this book to them or this video to them or that you try and help them think about a nutritional way of dealing with their issues. Um, I don't believe there's enough 
natural sources of niacin that we can get it naturally. I do really think that we need to supplement it today, and I highly suggest you guys look into it. Um, so yeah, if you know anybody that deals with any of these things I've talked about in this video, then please forward it, share it, and like it, leave a comment, tag somebody, do whatever you gotta do. But uh, thanks for your time, guys, and stay healthy.